and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna start the game Until Dawn. And Until Dawn is a 2015 interactive drama horror developed by Supermassive Games and published by Sony PlayStation. This is basically the predecessor of the Dark Pictures Anthology series which included uh, Man of Medan, Little Hope and House of Ashes but none of those games would have been here if it wasn't for their smash hit Until Dawn. The setting is like uh, an 80s slasher horror game slash movie where everything based on your decisions is what makes the story according to the butterfly effect and it had a lot of good great uh, young talent well except for that guy that you see on screen now that's Peter Stormer one of uh, Hollywood's actors that had its heyday in early 2000s I think and this game also features a few upcoming stars in the shape of Rami Malek who uh, is a Oscar winner for best actor in a leading role as Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody. This game also has Hayden Panettiere who is famous for uh, her role in the show Heroes and Scream 4. Jordan Fisher is that it? Uh, I think so. But yeah, everything is based on choices that you make, and I've beaten this game before, and I completed it 100% according to PlayStation with the trophies and everything, but it has been years since I've played it, so I'm curious if I still remember everything about it. My intention is to let everyone survive and pick everything up that I can. So, uh, it might be a little bit slow sometimes, but I hope you will like this, and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the notification bell to get notified every time that a new video is uploaded. And let me know in the comments what you thought about this game when it came out in 2015, if you played it, uh, if you liked it. But please don't spoil it in the in the comments what it is. If I see spoilers, I'll remove it uh, as quick as possible. The butterfly effect. If a butterfly today flaps its wings, in a few weeks it can cause to a devastating hurricane. I'm just translating it because I can't change the, the language. Sorry for that. A small decision can alter the course of the future. Your actions decide the course of the story. Your story is one of the many possibilities. Think carefully before you do something. Oh, it's so good. But, again, I'm sorry uh, for this because uh, the subtitles are Dutch. I can't change that. That's Hayden Panettiere. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. 
Just because he's class president Ugh, doesn't Emily. mean he belongs to everyone. Ugh. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Hey, Dern. Oh yeah, for your information, um, Hannah is part of a twin, Hannah and Beth, and Hannah has a crush on Mike, but Mike is with Emily, Mike? and they it's are Hannah. plotting a scheme, a plan to, um, basically it's, uh, they're pulling a prank on her where she thinks that Mike's is, Mike is into her, even though she isn't. Hey. Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh yeah. Oh, it's coming all back to me now. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh, you don't want to know. It's kind of brutal. I try not to talk too much. Oh. There we go. Jeez, Josh. And Josh is um, Once again, Rami Malek, the one who played Freddie Mercury and where we won an Oscar for. Phenomenal movie. Nothing if you haven't seen it, do. Okay. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. She's taking your shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, oh. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all good. It's just a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. It's just a prank, Han. We are just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So after her you know I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now Mike oh shit oh yeah <sighs> safe route man this game brings always much memories Follow the footsteps. Game looks amazing, by the way. For a 2015 game, it looks really, really good. The only sometimes the character models are like a bit like, Ugh! 
and yeah. uh, the movement is also like a little bit clumsy but the other game said that as well I don't think that's ever really gonna be perfect <laughs> fucking I'm back into it immediately. Hello? Hello? Ah! The famous things we also saw in the other three games. Death Totem. Oh, ho, ho. Hannah! Hannah isn't in right now, but you can leave your message after the beep. Fuck! What the hell was that? Hannah! Hannah! Hello? Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot! Ow. Sorry, Anna. That was a scripted moment, by the way. Uh, there wasn't a way to save there them. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Um, scarecrow, farm, cornfield. Yeah. In daylight, it's not that bad. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. 
happy or uneasy well, happy as long as it's daylight oh that's good in what way did it make you happy sunlight or it's peaceful because sunshine word would best describe how you feel about darkness the darkness uh fear because i, I fear darkness and that's the god honest truth <laughs> afraid really that's interesting where i come from way up north in sweden the nights are 18 hours long <laughs> And why do you think you're afraid of the dark? Why? I, I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, it's a perfectly natural fear. Darkness, after all, is the unseen and therefore the unknown. And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh dear, we seem to be out of time for this session. Oh. We'll talk again soon. Until then, I suggest you try to stay away from dark places. one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know, 
you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Sam, diligent, Hannah's best friend, considerate and adventurous. Hello? So Someone good. there? This is so good. The path to the cable car station, 2102. Move the right joystick in order to move the camera. Ah, oh, those light beams. Oh my god. Use the right joystick to look around. Objects that shine, you can check. Oh, what? Question from Chris: What the route to the cabin was? Now we have to climb. And we're going fast. And climb again. Got it. I love these moments where you think someone is actually spying on you. I love it. Yes. Oh. oh, this is the most annoying piece of thing in the game where you have to. Well, you can't control, can't move the controller by an inch, otherwise it will detect it. I hate that, and that might be the only reason why why I fail uh, to save everyone because at the end there's a lot of those. Oh, but this this sign though. 
beautiful. Now what's this? <laughs> cool. Oh, this is the totems. Death, black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger, loss, guidance, and fortune. I have to be careful for death. Because they, those show a potential death. Loss is brown. Oh, loss is a tragedy. And this is yellow, I think. Yeah, this is yellow. This was a guidance totem and it basically said that I shouldn't attack the animal, or bird in this case. Wow. <gasps> wow. I... Just look at this. Holy... I really forgot how beautiful this game was. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Wow. Chris? Not in the bag, are you? Hello, what do we have here? Mm, let's close the bag. We're not gonna look. No. Maybe I shouldn't pull on that crazy stuff. I wanna do every good choice there is. Chris! Sam, hey, you made it. Chris is in love with Ashley, methodical, protective, and funny. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Wanted. Oh man, look at this. Nice. Wanted in connection with arsoning, with premeditative like thought and stuff. multiple death threats. Oh, on, Please like contact the police department if you have any information about this dangerous criminal. Ta da! <laughs> Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Here goes. Yeah, here we go. Shooting range. What? Should we shoot first? Oh, there's only one target. Easy. 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 Wow, nice shooting tits. <laughs> All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Oh, the furthest. Nice. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh. Trust me, if you want to survive in this game, don't hurt animals. Never. But, will it get scared? Scared if I shoot the bag? Should I just not shoot? No, I'll shoot. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. 
Yes. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Good choice. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. The year goes fast. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Creepy. After you. A oh, real gentleman. You must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I'd be a wreck. I'm just gonna go just over here, Sam. Back. I'll be right back. He must be going through so much and he seems Blackwood Pines help. Hotel and Sanatorium for a healthy a body and a healthy a mind. No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Yeah, they just bought a freaking mountain. And that is kind of weird. Trust me, when they are in the cable card, Chris is gonna say at one point, boom, butterfly effect, if I remember correctly, but I think I do. Definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed, but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh, that's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Boom. Butterfly, Butterfly effect. effect. Jess, Jessica, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, dishonorable. So this is Mike's new girlfriend. In the prologue, Mike was dating Emily. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people, time to meet and greet. Help? 
Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Push or explain? I'm going for explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Oh, Emily. Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. This is my least favorite character. She's very annoying. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. And Matt. Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, we're now, if it was me out. walking oh. alone here, yeah. I would have been be scared out of my mind. I am just. Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Mike. Emily Sachs, intelligent, driven, and also persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Just try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh, let's threaten him a little. No, let's welcome him. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so <laughs> gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Okay. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya! Oh, crap. Uh-oh. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Mm-hmm, Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. Matt, please. Uh, okay, I'm going. Am I? Yeah. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you.
Poor Matt. I feel sorry for him. And this is Ashley. <gasps> Ashley is in love with Chris. She's a geek. She's uh, uh, searching or like investigative and trust. Uh, just, sorry. Honest. There's Jess. Ooh. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Juicy. Not in a friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Hmm. Questionable. Fair <laughs> real. Oh, <God. laughs> hey, oh. hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm not really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. No. Um, encouraged to look. It will break his heart, though, but. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, what? Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't I feel know. Bad for Damn it. Matt. Matt. Jessica, uh, let's read a book. Ah! <laughs> oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Oh, remember? But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? This was one of the totems and run to the bench. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Ding! Crap. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little? How can you not see her? Gotcha. Oh, hey! Oh, you miss snap. me. The bird. <laughs> oh, what did I say Hello. about Come nature on. and animals? Hey, Mike. Boom, shot okay. the lock out. Oh, you got me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sometimes doing nothing is the best me, thing to do. I know all Like now. Are we both? Oh, we, oh, we, both. we all know oh, how it's going to end. Oh, no more. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll oh, probably get oh, the option to kiss <laughs> and just oh, say gotcha. campy Done. Done. horror movie so game. Did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. I'm just gonna dive in. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. There we go. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was 
Making out with you the whole time? Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Now, who could that be? Hmm. Oh. We're back with him. Hello again. Yes. Yes. And how are we feeling? Yeah. Hmm. Pretty good. It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Okay. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Oh, no. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Um... Men make me nervous, women make me nervous. Neither of them kind of make me nervous. Well, I guess with men, uh, there's always that competitive thing. So, I, I don't know, I'm just thinking of something. Oh. I'm afraid of planes, I'm afraid for big crowds. Well, the thing is... If you're in a plane and you crash, there's almost no chance of survival. And in a big crowd, there is. There is safety in numbers, usually. So I'll choose planes. Next! Uh, fear of heights or fear of drowning? I've heard that drowning is one of the best ways to die. Because your brain is visualizing a lot of colors. So, fear of heights. If you fall down there, it takes a while before you hit it. Next! Snakes or fear of rats? Rats carry diseases and snakes are poisonous, so snakes. What are you writing there? Uh, uh, next. Uh, gun or knife? With the gun it can be quick if you get shot in the head. And with a knife i think i think you feel the blade every inch of the blade going into your body and it takes longer for you to die and just the the feeling or imagining the feeling of the knife cutting through your flesh and muscles and uh, veins so i'll choose knife next Snakes or cockroaches? I, I haven't seen any cockroaches here. But also not really snakes, but I will choose snakes then. Still riding? Hmm. Next. Clowns. Definitely clowns. Clowns are real people. Clowns are real people and, and scarecrows aren't. So, next. Uh, intest I loathe intestines or I'm afraid of crows. I, I think I loathe of intestines or, or disposed intestines more. So So that one oh. mm. So sorry. You're doing very well. How can I relax Open after that, you beep? Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Oh. Okay, and uh, next, uh, spiders. I definitely fear of spiders. Uh, next, uh, needles. I am terrified of needles, as with spiders. <sighs> next. Uh, still clowns. Zombies aren't real. So, I fear clowns. Uh, still needles. I'm not afraid of dogs. Next. Uh, needles. Still needles. 
thunder and lightning are in, in are in my eyes pretty. This is very interesting. What? Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, and needles. <laughs> That's some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, oh. but I promise really? we'll talk again very soon. I hold you to that. It was fun. I guess. Did this room change? In any way? I'm feeling it changed.